welcome to today's lecture in the previous lecture I discussed about this uh, for this problem we are doing Kohavi algorithm so already we done a test uh, and we find out the test which is for a test uh, for stacked zero fault and now you have to do Kohavi algorithm for a big test to find out that stacked one fault by the question question they asked you to find out the test which is of all stacked zero stacked one fault of a circuit with the boolean function using Kohavi algorithm. So we did stacked zero fault and now it is stacked to one fault. So this is the procedure you have to follow for stacked to one fault. So what you have to do is first you write the uh, cubes and the corresponding adjacent uh, cubes. So this one here. What are our cubes? X1, S2 is cube. X1, S3 dash. X4 dash is another cube. X4, X2, X4 is one cube. Okay. So the my first cube is this X1, S2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2. See this one. This one is the first cube. This one is the first cube. This entire four times. Four min times compared to form a cube and this is that cube x1 s2 is 1 1 2 2 so we need to find out the adjacent cube of this one this one this can have an adjacent uh, cube that adjacent cube means it is very near to this cube that cube is nothing but only one this is one cube and this is another cube so, so we have two cubes here one is here adjacent we need to find out the adjacent of this cube adjacent means one may be here or one may be here okay so that you have to write so this is our actual uh, in this column we have a, a actual cube so we need to find out the sub cubes or adjacent cubes adjacent cube can be here or it can be here so what you have to do you have to do you have to select a cube here or you have to select a cube here okay and what is the cube here what is the cube here what is the cube here how can you write this cube see here x1 s2 is 1 0 so x1 s2 x1 s2 is 1 0 so you can write it as 1 0 what about x3 s4 x3 s4 in this cube, in this cube, x3, s4 can have any value, no, in this cube, x3, s4 can have any value, but x1, s2 is 1, 0, so 1, 0, x3, s4, any value means it can be 0 or 1, so you can write it as 2, 2, simple, okay, now what about this cube, for this cube, uh, I will write here, for this cube, how to write, x1 s2 is 0 1 so 0 1 x3 s4 can have any value so it is 2 2 0 1 2 2 so for this cube we have two adjacent cube so write it write the corresponding uh, things first cube is it is our original cube was what it is original cube 1 1 1 1 2 2 one one two two this is the original cube so original cube is uh, one 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 two two one one two two and the adjacent cubes are zero one two two and one zero two two these are the adjacent cubes now we need to find out the another cube what is the next cube here uh, one two zero six this is our next cube okay this is our next group or cube it is one two zero zero see one two zero zero that we need to find out so this can have this is our original cube okay you must consider so what is the original cube here this is our original cube okay this is this is our original cube People are the original cube. What are the adjacent of this cube? What are the adjacent groups? E cube in the adjacent variance. You fold this, you may have a group here. 
okay if you fold that you may have a group here okay or you may have a group here or you may have a group here this is our original group no original cube adjacent of this cube it is an original cube and adjacent of the cube here where the cube will come it is adjacent to this then it fold here then it is adjacent to this this is another cube fold here you can have another adjacent group here so we have four groups clear so what is this group p group edana what is this group how to write this group so in this group see here x1 can have always one value x1 can have always one value so it is one x2 can have one or zero value so it is two and under this group x3 have only zero value x4 is one so one two zero one symbol right so you can write it as uh, for one two zero zero first sub cube is or first adjacent cube is one two zero one now four one two zero zero what is the another cube this is the another cube one two one zero okay how to find out this Uh, you can take this and this these are the two so consider this uh, you take this so here also x1 is 1 x2 can be 1 or 0 so it is 2 here 1 0 so 1 2 1 0 okay so 1 2 1 0 so this is 1 2 1 0 now another group 1 2 0 0 another sub cube what is the another sub cube this is the another sub cube and how to write this sub cube here x1 is 0 x2 x1 is 0 in this two case x2 can be 0 or 1 value so it is 2 x3 is for 0 0 so 0 to 0 0 so 0 to 0 0 so that sub cubes are completed because three adjacent groups only the remaining what is the remaining this is the remaining cube how to find out this adjacent of this cube e cube and adjacent are like one one here and here and here and here okay so this this was our cube what are the adjacent of this groups then adjacent what are the adjacent of this cubes one can be here okay and adjacent of this can be here also okay so how to write this what is this and what is this this two i have to write so the our cube is nothing but uh, 2 1 2 1 you know our cube is nothing but 2 1 2 1 this is q 2 1 2 1 So two one two one. How two sub cubes? Two one two one. How two sub cubes? What are the sub cubes? Uh, one is. Look at here. What is this? This this. You have to consider this this and this at a pair. Why? Because it's a four pair. So you have to this this two pair and this. So it's a four min times a single pair. So here uh, x two x x one x two is zero zero. here x1 s2 is 1 0 so x x1 can have 1 or 0 but s2 is 0 that means 2 0 and what about this two column yeah, this two row this this that means 0 1 1 0 that means x3 can have 0 or 1 x4 have 1 only so it is 2 1 okay simple 2 0 2 1 now for this now for this uh, here Look at x1 is 2 value 0 1 x1 is 0 1 x2 is 1 so 2 1 2 1 and what about this here this two row this and this here x3 can have 0 and 1 x4 is 0 so it is uh, 2 0 so 
so it is 2 0 so it is 2 0 so you can write it as 2 1 2 0 why right, because here uh, x1 can have 0 1 value so it is 2 and x2 can have only one value so 2 1 here and in, in this 2 this column means it is having x1 is 2 a value and x3 x4 value so for this pair you have to consider this 2 and this 2 this 2 means x3 x4 so x3 can have 0 or 1 x3 uh, sorry x3 have x3 have 0 or 1 x4 is 0 so it is 2 0 so 2 1 2 0 i write here so now what you have to do is Uh, choose a set of uh, min times that are present in each of these adjacent subcubes but not present in the function okay so uh, choose a subcube this is like this choose a subcube so here you can may put one like that one also you can put but there is no need to do you can do only this much choose a set of min times uh, that are present in each of these adjacent subcubes but not present in the function so choose a maintain that presents all the in all the subcubes listen here I am uh, taking one subcube here see here I have to mark a maintain here I have to mark a maintain this is my maintain why this maintain cover this subcube this subcube and this subcube okay this is a maintain which cover this subcube this subcube and this subcube three subcubes are covered by this we have only three subcube no either this dash either in this form or this form or this form so both these three cubes are covered by this maintain so mark this maintain one zero zero one so one zero zero one what is one zero zero one one zero zero one is nothing but nine okay so one zero zero one is nine so another another uh, one is another uh, min time what are the another what is the another min time which cover all the subcube but not in the function uh, it is this see listen here it is this see this covers this cube this subcube and this subcube so this mean time cover all the three subcubes so what is the value 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 what is it 0 1 0 0 4 what is the remaining see so here this is covered this is covered this is covered this is covered with this mean time with this mean time this is covered this is covered this is covered so what are the uncovered thing this one so this is not covered no this also you should cover so this is the min time so what is the min time corresponding one zero one zero that means one zero for this min time it is one zero one zero so one zero one zero what is one zero one zero ten okay so you can write it as 9, 4, 10. These are the min tens. What are the corresponding subcubes for 9? 9 comes under which subcube? 9 comes under 1, 9. This 9 comes under 1022 two subcube. So 1022 two subcube. Then comes our 1201. One. This 9 covers this subcube. No. This subcube also covered by this. So 1 to 0 1. 1 to 0 1. This 9 covers also this. What is this? That means this only. This. That is 2 1 2 0 2 1. So 2 0 2 1. So it is covered by 9. Now covered by 4. This is the 4 and this covered by 0 1 2 2. Okay. This is covered by this this one this big one so it is 0 1 2 2 so 0 1 2 2 comma and this small one 0 2 0 0 
zero two zero zero and another one is two one two zero two one two zero means this this one this is covered by this also no this this uh, this this is not counted this with this what is it two one two zero so this this is two one two zero so two one two zero now the remaining is ten so ten ten is covered with which one one two one zero only this this already be taken this already be taken so the remaining is this only now one two one zero so one two one zero that means only once you have to take all the sub cubes so one two one zero so that's about it so for uh, for our b test for our um, b test uh, our sub cubes are nine four ten so these are the min times the corresponding uh, test vectors you can give to the you can give to the circuit in order to find out uh, test uh, say uh, one t uh, you know to find out stuck at one fault so so these are the test switches these are the min times corresponding test switches you can give to the circuit to find out the stuck at one fault this is about b test and this is the Kohavi algorithm this is a very important algorithm so questions may expect questions will be only free in university question re repeatedly they are asking Kohavi algorithm so this is about Kohavi.